So in this video, I will be talking about the element shape and the famous artist Pablo Picasso. I will also show you how to incorporate what we have learned in a painting project that goes along with the lesson. This project will be called Cubism Character. I'm so you probably already know what a shape is, but do we know the actual definition? A shape is an element of art that is two-dimensional, flat, or limited to height and width. Not to be confused with a form that is 3D. There are two different kinds of shapes. Geometric shapes, such as circles, rectangles, and triangles. And then there is organic shapes that are similar to the shapes found in nature. They may look more like a leaf, a rock, or an animal. Now let me introduce you to Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was a famous Spanish artist that spent most of his adult life creating art in France. He was a painter, sculptor, printmaker, theater designer. He was most famous for starting the Cubism movement. What was Cubism, you ask? Cubism was a style of abstract art that used a variety of both organic and geometric shapes. Now that you know a little bit about shapes, Picasso, and cubism, let me show you how to use what you have learned in an art project. Start by taking a large white sheet of paper. Think about a character, whether it be from a popular television show, cartoon, book, or whatever. I am choosing Pikachu from the TV show Pokemon because my daughter is a big fan. Now take a pencil and start drawing this character but you are not drawing this character the way it typically looks. You are drawing this character in a cubism way. This means you are to draw your character by using both geometric and organic shapes. Draw your character in a way that is abstract or distorted. Make facial features bigger or smaller than they typically look. Maybe add an organic shape where it would typically be seen as a geometric shape. Make sure you take up a large portion of your paper with this character. Now watch as I finish drawing Pikachu. Okay, so my Pikachu is drawn and ready for color. I thought using acrylic paint would be perfect for this project. So now watch as I paint my drawing. I like to start by taking a few colors of acrylic paint, mixing it with water, and painting the entire drawing with a layer of color. This is called a wash. This will be your first layer of paint that unifies the overall painting. It will also help you not to feel so nervous about messing up the pretty white paper and boost your confidence when you add your next layers. Now start mixing up the colors that you want to use. I always add a little white to every color to make the paint thicker and opaque. Opaque is the opposite of transparent, which means that you cannot see through it. Now start painting your cubism character. Don't be afraid to use layers on top of layers until you have the look you want. Picasso had some bold, thick lines in several of his paintings, so I'm adding thick lines too. Here is my Pikachu cubism character, inspired by Pablo Picasso himself. Now let's see what you can do.